I don't do politics. This is the rhetoric of many Zimbabweans and Africans in particular. But they say, if you don't do politics, politics will do you. Why is there politics apathy in our generation, particularly in Zimbabwe? There is a number of reasons for that. But we're going to delve into that in this video today. Hello and welcome to JCTV Africa, where we look at issues that are happening in and around Zimbabwe and Africa. In 2020, the world was thrown into a pandemic. A number of experts and some researchers are showing that this was a war between America and China, and it is a work of politicians. What did it lead us? It led us to a global pandemic, a lot of job losses, a lot of financial losses to many people who claim that they don't do politics, but politics did them. Right now, we are faced with Russian war. In this Russian war with Ukraine, you are feeling the works of politicians. The politician is getting into your pocket. The war in Ukraine is causing fuel hikes because 13% of the world fuel reserves come from Russia. So this is another work of politicians. But let us take a look at what happened in Zimbabwe. Politics have caused so much immigration crisis. Right now in South Africa, many Zimbabweans are facing uncertainty because of the politics in Zimbabwe. For many years, this has affected the Zimbabwean people. Our Zim politics have been toxic, to say the least. Let's take a look at what happened during the liberation struggle and after. According to the statistics, it is said that 20,000 people died during the liberation struggle, which was protracted from 1962 up to 1979. 20,000 people died. However, post the liberation struggle, Zimbabwe has lost more than the people that they lost during the war. 20,000 in Matebeleland in the 1980s. 30 activists killed in 2000, bringing to a total of 107 in a period between March 2000 to March 2002. 500 during the political violence in 2008 and latest in 2018, six people died because of political violence. That means people who have died under the hands of our black African government are even more than the people that died under the white colonial rule in the struggle for democracy. Where have we gone wrong? This is the reason why many Zimbabweans are afraid of politics because they see blood, they see maiming, they see violence. Do you remember in the early 2000s that whenever you would strike a conversation, especially in Harare, you would find out that in a, a, when you are in a queue for the bank, you are in a, in, a, in a combi. Amongst the four of you or five of you, one of the people was one of the security agents, say the CIO or somebody. And whenever you start to speak out about how wrong things are in the country, somebody will silence you and say, guys, stop what you are doing. This is also the reason why many Zimbabweans are afraid of politics. But here is the scenario. We are doomed if we don't. But also, if we do, we stand a chance. So which side are we going to go to? Are we going to choose to disenfranchise and not let our vote count? Or we are going to choose to actively participate in our politics of the day by conversation, by registering to vote, and by actually participating in the voting process. This can chart a new path to a politics that is free of toxicity and that allows people to differ on political ideologies. However, they have cohesion amongst themselves. Tell me what you think in the comment section. Love to hear from you. Are you going to disenfranchise or you are going to actively participate? That's all that I have for you today. I'll see you on the next video.